Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. Futurism.com has something that, um, I don't know, in, in the grand scheme of things, this might be pretty uh, big, because normally a lot of emerging technologies comes from uh, test beds and laboratories like CERN and the Large Hadron Collider, but this says an advanced AI has been deployed to fight against hackers. I mean, they're, they're pulling out all stops here. It says it takes a truly massive network of hundreds of thousands of computers to help scientists around the world unravel the mysteries of the universe, which is the purpose of CERN and the CERN grid. Naturally, however, particle physicists aren't the only ones who want to access that kind of computing power. Hackers are also interested in CERN's grid, and CERN scientists are skipping past standard cybersecurity measures and deploying AI to stay protected. I mean, why not, right? It's a job of any cybersecurity effort to detect unusual activity and identify pos possible threats. And of course, these systems can look for unknown code, uh, any sort of worms, any viruses, but malware sometimes changes too fast for humans to keep up with it. So this is where AI and machine learning come in. CERN scientists are teaching their AI systems to distinguish between safe and threatening behavior on the network and to take action when it detects a problem. And so this becomes an an, a very interesting experiment because if they can get AI to and machines to learn how hacking happens, what happens, then they can go and look for it in real time and actually combat it. Um, CERN is the home, of course, to the Large Hadron Collider, as well as its massive supercomputer grid. Scientists use the LHC to study high-speed collisions between subatomic par particles. Now, in 2017 alone, they collected an estimated 50 petabytes of data about these particles. I mean, isn't that amazing? 50 petabytes of data about smashing particles together. Now, CERN provides this critically important data to universities and laboratories around the world for research. And one of the nice things about CERN is that through its research, they have understood that what we do and live in is created. It has nothing to do with random processes that through their science, they have figured that out. And it's too bad that, you know, mainstream won't push it out because, of course, it doesn't fit the narrative of removing God from society, but that's a different story of itself. It says the LHC in CERN itself requires a massive amount of data storage and computing power, which is what prompted the creation of the worldwide LHC computer grid. Now, this grid com connects computers in more than 40 countries from more than 170 research facilities and works like a power grid to some extent, providing computer resources to facilities based on demand. This is huge, but it also prevents or presents, I should say, a huge cybersecurity challenge because you have to keep this massively globally distributed grid secure while at the same time maintaining your computing power and your storage. So it makes it very difficult from a human perspective. However, machine learning, uh, the, the AI and machine learning can actually go ahead and train a system to detect potential threats while retaining that flexibility. Because you're basically just putting an AI uh, watchstander there. And you're not having to employ uh, copious amounts of code in order to deal with it and have to slow the system down. AI can respond instantaneously, so there's no need to slow it down. Now, these upgrades are still being tested. If they work, well protecting just the part of the grid that ALICE, a large ion collider experiment, uses, the team can then deploy AI cybersecurity measures throughout the entire system. So right now they're they're trying it just on the Alice system, but who knows where it goes from here? And of course, this could have uh, revolutionary um, effects throughout the entire cybersecurity industry and throughout the internet in general. Because when you start deploying AI to do this, now you have an AI policeman, and if it starts at cybersecurity, where does it go from there? You know, again, the road to hell paved by good intentions. Brought to you by humanity. Who loves to destroy itself? I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at thedailysheeple.com.
Have a great day.